name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Starting on Monday, the church will be celebrating the fast of the prophet Jonah. And for us, the fast of the prophet Jonah is a precursor to the Great Lent. Even the hymns in the church are the same as if they are in the Great Lent. And the reason for this is that they are similar. It's almost like a preparation fast, a preparation fast for the big fast and something to set our mind right and to get ready for it. The symbolism of Jonah and the whale is something that is important to us because Christ himself referred to it when the people were asking him for a sign. And he says, an evil and wicked generation seeks a sign, but no sign will be given to them except for the sign of Jonah the prophet. In that, he was prophesying about his own death and resurrection. And so we know that the story of Jonah the prophet and the story of him being swallowed by the big fish or the whale and staying in that big fish for three days and coming out again is like symbolism of the resurrection of Christ. And so when we think of any time where something is symbolic of the resurrection, we are immediately reminded again of our baptism. As is the case throughout this whole month of Tuba, baptism is the major theme. And in Jonah, we're reminded of our baptism, not just because he was in the water in a whale for three days and then he came up, but because it is a reminder of Christ's resurrection. And St. Paul said that when we were baptized, it was as if we were crucified with Christ and then rose up again. Because no one is able to survive in the midst of the water. Our natural inclination when we're deep underwater is to try to raise up, try to come up again. And so when we raise up and come up again, we come out of the water as if we're resurrected. When we can't breathe, when we're inside of the water, when we come out of the water, we can breathe again. We have life again. And so the fast of St. Jonah is an important fast because it reminds us of our baptism. And the reason also that it reminds us of our baptism is because the whole idea of, Saint, of Jonah being in the whale was because he was supposed to go to a city called Nineveh and tell them and force them and preach to them so that they would repent of their evil ways. And so our baptism also was a way for us to be repentant, to turn back to Christ. And now that we've been baptized, we have this thing that stays with us, this idea of repentance that we've talked about so much in the past few weeks. But the fast of, Saint, of, of the prophet Jonah is a great time for us to think about our repentance again, to take these three days. It's not long so that we feel that we can do it. Um, it's a quiet time. It's a time for us to really contemplate ourselves. It's a time for us to really think about the resurrection, what the resurrection did for us what our baptism did for us, what our repentance and cleansing ourselves does for us. The people of Nineveh were not Israelites, were not Jews like Jonah, but because they had seen and heard about this man that had went into a whale for three days and came out alive, they were changed because they thought this must mean something. This is a great feat for someone to be inside a whale for three days and survive. We also have the same feeling when we see the resurrection of Christ. When Christ rose from the dead for us, it is a reminder for us of something big, something great, something to be in awe of. So I urge you all to take this fast, young and old, and fast it with real intentions, not as joking, not as silliness, not as making fun, but fast it with true intentions. It's very short so that we feel that we can be a part of it. And when we do that, us old, us parents, when we fast it and we take it seriously, then our children will also learn that fasting is important and is serious. May the Lord give you the patience to continue to grow and to continue to offer repentance to the Lord. And may you have a blessed fast of St. Jonah and glory be to God forever. Oh,